Hello lads, it's Cybernethy. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2017. It is now half past midnight. We have just entered a new year. 2016 has been absolutely crazy, especially during the later months, but in a good way. I mean, it's had its ups and downs, but for the most part, life has been good, and I'm excited for the next year. You may or may have not noticed, but the sound of my microphone is just a little bit different. Turns out there are a few knobs, like there are a couple of knobs on my microphone that control the way the microphone picks up sound. So I've been fiddling with that and I have found a setting that I like better than my old one. My old one was good, but this one sounds much, much better. And it has support for stereo so my voice will be a lot clearer. Now I'm not in my usual recording location for videos like these, which is Mineplex or Hypixel. I am actually on a private vanilla SMP. I am not giving away the name of it because it is private. No, you cannot join because it is private. Why? Because it's private. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just here chilling out. To the right we have a a lovely sugar, uh, sugar cane farm up there. And as soon as I pull this fish out of the water, I'm going to show you just a little bit around the area. So, how you been? What are your goals and plans for 2017? I'd like to know in the comments below, below the video. What are your plans for 2017? What's got you excited? What's got you geared up, ready to go. If you're a YouTuber, how many subscribers would you like to would you like to uh, get to before the end of the year? Before the end of this year? January 1st, 2017. So, I helped build this. I did not build it alone. I built it with my buddies. We have a dock here. We have a nice little pier surrounded by torches so that no mobs spawn. And we have a sugar cane farm over there, protected by glass. We have a little boat parked here. I think that's my boat, actually. And this is our auto fishing farm. I don't think it's complete yet. But basically, actually it is complete. I just don't know how it operates. So we have a lovely view out in the open, out in the open sea. That way it leads to our old base, our main base actually. And if we go inside, we have a bunch of chests. We have an anvil, we have a crafting table, and an ender chest. Now these two items I have, I have a bow with mending, powerful, and breaking three. That's my backup bow. I have a fishing rod that sadly is very expensive to repair unless you have just a regular fishing rod. Uh. Meanwhile, I have, I'm using this one, which I believe is better, actually, because it will never break, because it has mending. And I have a bow called Bang Ding Ow, which is a reference to a joke, an inside joke that my friend and I, my friend Cabbage and I use. Cabbage29, you may have seen our video, we recorded together once. Okay, so in this chest we have a bunch of miscellaneous knickknacks and whatnot, a lot of redstone, a lot of cobblestone, a lot of torches. Inside we have a bunch of fishy loot, and this isn't even half of it. This is nowhere near the extent of what my friends and I have managed to pull out of the water. Fishing, by the way, is a great way to get powerful gear. You never know what you're going to pull out of the water. This is just the beginning. Not all the chests are filled, but this one has nothing in it. This one's for the saddles. My friend has been going haywire on the fishing. He fished like, I don't know how long it took him to grab all this gear, but the fact he did is awesome. Look at all these fishing rods, the enchanted fishing rods. We pulled all of those out of the water. Some of them have curses on them, which is a new thing that Minecraft added in recently. Curse of Vanishing. Fortunately, nothing too dangerous. And we have a bunch of books. And I think he combined some of these together, perhaps. 
I'm not sure. I wasn't there when he fished him. I probably pulled as many as the top row here, but he and another friend of mine pulled the rest. Inside this chest is a bunch of... Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff. I have no idea. It's probably just their to-be-sorted chest. I don't know. In here we have bows. Look at all these enchanted bows. That's crazy. You can fish those out of the water. You don't need to enchant your bows. Just get these. You don't even need an enchanting table for half the stuff. A bunch of leather boots. It's a shame you can't pull any armor other than leather boots out of the water. I wish they would add that in. I wish they would switch up the loot, the random loot that you can find inside of fishing. But at any rate, this is our little storage room. It's actually underwater. I don't know how he managed to do it, but I ain't complaining. So, I'm just going to give you a quick tour around the server while it's daytime and while no one else is on. So, I'm going to climb into my boat and I'll take you on a tour. Yeah. If I can get in the right way. Hold on. He ah. <laughs> Hold on. Seem to be... Okay, hang on. There we go, that's the right way. Okay. So, this is our little fishing station. And over here we have... Ah, he built another dock. Actually, no, that's not a dock. At all. Well, it is a kind of a dock. Kind of a pier. But I see he's done some work on this. I'm just going to park it right about here. And I'm going to see what changes he has made. We'll call them Villa and Manny. That's their names. Okay, so... Apparently they grew some potatoes here. And let's see if they made any changes to the... Oh, I think they have. Okay, so... They didn't quite finish the storage room. Well, actually, this is the storage room. Holy mackerel, look at all this stuff. I have no idea what's in here. It's obviously not quite done yet. But, let me see, I'm gonna take you to the other... This is basically the base that I started in when I spawned in the server for the first time. And... We have done quite a bit of work on it. And by quite a bit, I mean a lot of work. My friends dug this tunnel all the way. You can even see how long it is. Oh no, you can't even see how long it is because it twists and turns. Gotta be careful here. I don't know if there are mobs here, but they, if there's a skeleton right in the water, he could probably shoot me. But we don't have to worry about that because it's daytime. You know what they should add here? A minecart system. That would be an epic thing to see. It would take a lot more work than it already did to build the tunnel because you have to excavate it, you have to build it a little bit bigger. But anyway, what we have here is the entrance to our other base. And we have a little farm here. I'm going to harvest some carrots, just so I have some food. Okay. So, this is a server I was recently invited to. But basically a bunch of people were working together on a project. I won't say what it is just yet. Because we're not quite ready to make it public yet. I mean, we could make it public, there are just certain things that we're not allowed to disclose. But, I see my friend has finished. Well, let me see. What's here? What is in this room right here? Oh, I hear a zombie. He's done a lot more than I anticipated. Okay, he's done a, a great deal of work here. It's basically got every kind of food, except maybe potatoes and watermelons, growing in this this uh, room 
Oh, hang on. Got potatoes, got beetroot. This is our infinite water block. And yeah, this is my this is Manny's neck of the woods. The base I was just at was Villa's base. You can only sleep at night. Okay, so he basically took all the beds from our old base and put them over here. Nothing in the furnace, okay. I wonder what's in this room. Let's see what- okay, he hasn't quite finished this room yet. He's still working on others. Ah, this must be his private quarters. I won't- I won't do anything funny there. I wonder what this room is. Oh, that's our mushroom farm, I guess. Awesome. Okay. So this is basically about all we've done with it so far. That is nothing to sneeze at. You can only sleep at night. I'm gonna wait here until the sun goes down. And it's already getting ready to go dark. So... Yeah, I have been busy. I just took a break from... Well, I just took a break from making videos because it was Christmas and New Year's Day now. But I'm ready to get back into the action. I'm ready to get back into full swing and start making videos again. And we've got some plan for the future. Especially with Goggy and I. In fact, if you missed the video that we recently did together, I will direct you over to his channel and, and uh, show you the video that we did together. This was probably during Christmas time, maybe a little later. I can't remember exactly when we did it, but yeah. I haven't posted a video in over a week, but I plan to change that soon. I'm, I just needed a little bit of a break. It was Christmas and it was New Year. So thank you guys for watching. And thank you guys for supporting my channel all the way through 2016, all the way through 2015, and into 2017. I am so excited for the year ahead. Can't wait to see what it brings. Alright, behave yourselves, I shall see you guys later. Bye!